In this video, I'll be covering the affiliate section of the JBZoo account. This is where you want to go if you want to make money by promoting other vendors' products as an affiliate. All of this is found under the affiliate selection on your top menu. Now we have the affiliate knowledge base. This is where you can go to find frequently asked questions, etc in JVZoo, and that's a good place to refer back to. I'm going to cover as much as I can here, but things do change with time, so if you have a question that I don't cover, be sure to check the affiliate knowledge base. Let's go over to the affiliate dashboard. This is going to show your sales for the day or any other time period. Now you'll note on the top of mine I have an outstanding paid commissions section. This is commissions that I am owed because of either delayed commissions that I was put on or other reasons where I may be receiving a payment late. Sometimes it will be for a uh, subscription product. There are a number of reasons. If I click See Details, I'll get a list of those payouts. But this is uh, just to let you know that you do have, or I do have, outstanding paid commissions that I will be receiving at some point. So like all of the other reports on JVZoo, we have some search characteristics that we can set here to narrow down sales or uh, to specific periods. You can pick certain periods of time, or you can pick start and end dates. This gives you all of the sales you've generated as an affiliate. So let's just pick all time here and refresh the report. And what you'll see is the number of products that you've sold, or the number of products actually that you've promoted in here. You'll have the number of clicks you've generated as an affiliate, the number of visitors, because those will be two different numbers. The same visitor could have clicked through twice. So the clicks will be shown here, the unique visitors are shown here. The number of sales you've generated, your overall conversion rate, which is sales divided by visitors, that's the percentage there. Your dollars per visitor, which is the total dollars you've generated as an affiliate, divided by the number of visitors. The dollars per sale, which is your total amount, divided by the number of sales you've made, and then your total. And you can have this sorted by seller, by product, by clicks, by all of these. And uh, you'll see that right now it's sorted by visitors and sales. So you can use this to drill down through and see these stats that you've uh, accumulated over time. Now, when you want to find products to promote, go to Find Products. This is the JVZoo search engine where you can search for different products to promote. And you can search a number of ways. You can search through categories. You can search through subcategories. So if we pick, uh, for example, business finance, uh, let's find one that has, there we go. Then you can search in a specific subcategory like management. And you'll get a list of all products that the vendor has put into that category and subcategory. You can have a filter of front-end products only or uh, WSOs, which used to be able to be run through JVZoo. I'm not sure if you still can, but this will show you, if you pick front-end products, it will eliminate anything that is a product that is an upsell or a downsell in funnels. That can be a very smart thing to do so you don't end up promoting someone's upsell without promoting their front-end. You can change the number of rows you can display, and you can also search for specific keywords here. Now let's just take a look at what we found here. I've blocked out, uh, well, maybe I won't block this detail out because it really doesn't matter. It's public information here. I had picked business finance and management, and we can see some products here. You get the name of the product, and you'll see that this is a clickable link, which will take you to the affiliate information page for that product. You'll see who the vendor is, you will be able to contact the vendor by clicking on this envelope, and you'll see whether or not the product has a sales funnel. Now, this is an older product that was also a WSO, a Warrior Special, special Offer. If you want to request to promote this, you can click the Request button here. You can see when the product was launched, what date, and then we can get into the sales statistics. Now, you'll see that this particular product has two lines of sales statistics. That's because the top line shows the front end product. The bottom line shows the total sales statistics through the entire sales funnel. 
So this can show you how well it's doing on the front end and how well it's doing when you figure in upsells. So we can see that this product has sold 500 plus units on the front end and 500 plus units total in the sales funnel. So there really hasn't been a lot of um, upsell activity on this. There's been some, but not enough to push it up. If we look at the next item here, we have 500 plus front end items and 1,000 plus when you consider the entire sales funnel. Now that includes the initial 500 plus front end items. You can compare the conversion rate, the EPC, which is the dollars per customer, the average price that the item sold for, the commission rate that they pay out. If it says NA here, that means that there is typically a varying commission rate. And then the refund percentage. Now we can see this had a very low, uh, just over half percent refund percentage. However, this next product had a 16.56% refund percentage. Personally, I would not promote something with that high of a refund rate. However, there can be reasons for that. And if you have a specific product that you want to promote, but it has a high refund rate or a low earnings per customer, remember you can contact the vendor by sending them a message and ask them the question, why is your refund rate so high? Maybe there will be a good reason for it that you wouldn't have known otherwise. Um, you can look through the recent bestsellers by using these links up here. And one thing I want to show you is if you click on the vendor name, I'm not sure what will come up here. Ah, oh, okay. He has actually a good number of products. You can get notified of new product launches by a vendor by clicking on that and clicking subscribe now. And here we have a list of their other products that you can click through to potentially to promote. So this is how you find products. Once you are approved to promote products, you can find those products on your approved products list. This is very similar to what you just saw earlier. It's just these are the items that you are already approved to promote. And you can click the green Get Links button in order to get links to promote that product. You can also go to Add Extras. Now, this is also accessible from Affiliates slash Affiliate Bonuses. This is when you want to add a bonus into a promotion you're sending. For example, um, you could send an email to your buyer saying, hey, I've got this great product. It's called the Video Maker FX, since it happens to be on my screen here. Here's what the product does. Here's how it will benefit you. And if you buy it through my link, I will give you this bonus. And you can describe your bonus. If you're able to take that bonus and save it as a, a single zip file, then you can actually put that bonus in JVZoo system as a download so that when the buyer goes to their receipt page, your bonus will be right on the receipt page for them to download. It takes no effort on your part. You can also set up a special separate way for them to download their bonus that can include uh, them entering their email address, which I don't recommend. If you give a bonus to someone for buying something, you should just give them that bonus. There are ways in the add extras here. Let's just go into one. Um, there are ways to add autoresponders in so you can get a list of everyone who has purchased through your link. If I click on the pluses here, this is where you add your bonus. You can either upload it directly to JVZoo's system, it has to be less than 128 megabytes and be one of these file types, or you can put a name for your bonus and the URL that they have to go to in order to download it. The autoresponder integration is where if you're using GetResponse, you can have a list of people who have bought your bonus. Now you might think, why do I need this if these people are already on my buyers list? Well, that allows you to segregate out people who have already bought a product so that you don't promote it to them again. Or you can make it a separate uh, list of overly responsive buyers of yours who respond frequently to buying affiliate products. There's all sorts of ways that that information can be used, and this is where you integrate that in. Now, if we go to Affiliates Transactions, this gives you a place where you can select all of your affiliate transactions based on JVZoo Payment ID, PayPal Transaction ID. You can find the products that you've sold and what vendor it was sold for, what product was sold, all of your statistics that you might want to find. So that's basically the affiliate section of JVZoo.